Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is kind of going to be a come to the gym, what I eat in a day type of video. I have just started a new 12 week program and I'm very excited about it. Yesterday was my first day, so it's day two technically. It is a functional training session. I have been training functional for now about five, six weeks. So I converted from strength training into functional training and let me tell you, the difference I've seen is insane. But yes, I've started a new program. The other one just wasn't quite, wasn't hitting the mark for me. So I did some research, I found a new one, and I am, it's only day two, but I'm loving it. I've done two sessions. I've done a lower body dynamic and an upper body dynamic. I did film my lower body dynamic, which I did yesterday morning. I was going to film yesterday, but yesterday just turned into a day where I was doing nothing because one of my uni assignments was due and it was 60% of my mark. So I didn't really do anything yesterday. So I was like, you know what, we'll film the workout and then we'll just put it in the video today and just yeah so i will insert the footage now of what i did yesterday <laughs> day one we did some tempo squats um, alternating toe touch side lunges overhead kneel to squat sprints snatch to heel tap kettlebell swing walks and then I did a superset of hip thrusts and single leg plyo hip thrusts which were a killer you'll see me at the end there were a lot of new moves in that session that I did that I haven't done before like the kettlebell swing walks you wouldn't think that'd be that different from normal kettlebell swings but let me tell you they kind of yeah they were walking just it adds a whole other element so that was new and I haven't also done the plyo the single leg plyo hip thrust they were so hard like the coordination you need for that is very hard but yeah, I'm loving it so far. And then this morning's session was a upper body dynamic. Now I'll show you what I've made myself for breakfast. It looks so gross. So maybe I'll just tell you what it is. Because the blueberries have kind of melted. So I've got oats. Overnight oats with protein powder. Yogurt. Um, peanut butter. Almond butter. Blueberries. And then I put like a granola on top. So I've got a bit of... I've got carbs protein, fat, fiber, everything in this dish is just, it's hidden the mark. It is a good way to start your morning. For the last three to four months, I've only really been eating overnight oats, and I thought, you know what? Oh, not overnight oats. This is overnight oats. I've been eating overnight wheat bix and I thought, you know what? I think it's time for some change. Um, another thing, I've recently discovered couscous. I've never... Like, I I haven't discovered it. I knew I knew what it was, but I knew what it was, but I'd never had it before. And I've been obsessed with it the past two days. I've had it for lunch and dinner, basically. This is so yum. Anyway, I'm going to go because I have stuff to do this morning. Bit busy, but I will talk to you guys either when I'm doing something fun or interesting other than uni and when I am making my lunch. But yes, I am going grocery shopping because I do need some groceries and everything. And I'm going out with my mum and my grandma. So yes, I will talk to you guys around lunchtime. So it is a little bit later on in the day. It is now lunchtime. And I decided for lunch I'm going to make a couscous and chicken salad. I, like I said earlier in the clip before, I love couscous at the moment. So I have my couscous in a bowl. It's just currently not cooked yet so i'm about to cook that get to put boiling water i think it was two thirds a cup 
In my salad, yeah, I have my chicken breast cooked from the other night. I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna put sun dried tomatoes, spinach, and also, someone said feta, but I'm like, I don't know if I like feta, so maybe I'll taste it before I put it in. Timer, you have to put, you have to let that couscous sit for five minutes. I might try some feta, if not, I don't know. I might do some like chicken stock or something. All right, I'm gonna do the dishes, fill up the water, and then I will show you what my salad looks like. This is my lunch. It is couscous, spinach, chicken, and sun-dried tomatoes, and a little bit of chicken stock powder just to add some flavoring. But yeah, big bowl. So I've been sat at my computer all afternoon since I basically got home. So I haven't filmed much, but I thought, and I have had dinner, but I have leftovers from dinner. So I thought I'd just show you what I had. This is what I'm taking for lunch tomorrow. So I have couscous and stir fry. So it has chicken and then like a whole bunch of veggies. It was really, really good. And I'm very excited for my lunch tomorrow now. I should just add that you've seen we have my main three meals, but I have snacks throughout the day. So when I first woke up, I had toast, I said jelly beans, I had a scone, I had a kiwi fruit, I had a protein bar. I feel like I had something else, but I can't remember. So I have snacked throughout the day as well, quite a lot. So I haven't just had these three meals. So yeah, I am trying to really just, whenever I'm hungry, just eat and really tune into my hunger cues because I have started intuitively eating. Um, I might do a video about that, about how I've gone from calorie counting into intuitive eating, but yeah. I am about to make myself a hot chocolate. I got this a little while ago. It is the Naked Harvest Moon Milk in... Rocky Road and I never really had it and then the other night I had it and I was like this is kind of yum so I am going to make myself a glass of that I'll show you it I just put it with almond milk and yeah that will be all I'm eating for today I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I know it probably hasn't been too exciting but I just haven't had really time to film because I'm in the end of my semester for uni so I'm really focusing on that but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.